Password managers, are they all that they're cracked up to be? This time on ThreatWire. Last time I talked about why it's important to have good, unique passwords for every service. But honestly, how is that humanly possible? Let's take a look at some of the ways to generate good passwords and remember them. And some are going to be very quick to point out that if you use, say, a password manager, it'll both generate strong, unique passwords for you and store them so that you don't need to remember them, which is kind of fantastic, I guess. I mean, some people are very fond of password managers. I may know a few people around this office in particular who are uh, quite adamant about how great they are. So I'll toss out a few LastPass, OnePassword, RoboForm. The basic premise is that the password manager is software that acts as a database of your passwords, making it convenient to both come up with secure passwords and also to use them. A lot of times they integrate with your browser and make it really simple to type them in and things of that nature. And the idea is that it, it's encrypted with a single master password. So you still need a unique and strong password, but you only need to remember one. And Personally, I am not a fan of these services. Uh, most are proprietary and sync with the cloud in one fashion or another. Last, past, uh, last year was hacked, uh, it's a very popular password manager, and that compromised email addresses, password reminders, and auth hashes. And that right there is just one indication of why I don't trust third parties with my data. But I'm, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the encryption implementation of these proprietary services. I mean, to my knowledge, they're using industry standards, but the idea of syncing such valuable data uh, with a third party just kind of gives me chills. That said, there is a good open source alternative that doesn't necessarily have to sync with the cloud, KeePass. It's an open source password manager which stores the encrypted volume locally on your device and not necessarily up in the cloud. It's primarily for Windows, but being open source, there are many cross-platform ports for other operating systems, everything from Android and iOS to Linux and OS X. Uh, it uses AES as well as TwoFish to store the password database, and that's, you know, those are really good industry standard encryption methods. Uh, and there's it has a number of conveniences and other niceties like auto typing and multi-user support and plugins and stuff. So with all of that, um, I'm just saying that I'm, I'm still not completely sold on the concept of a password manager. Even one that locally stores it in open source. However, I will admit that I've been known to keep a few bits of sensitive data in simple text files, encrypting them with a symmetric key using something like GPG. That's the open source implementation of PGP. It's an industry standard. It's the same crypto tool that we use for end-to-end -end email encryption. So I wouldn't really mind if such a file were synced with a service like Dropbox, for instance, up in the cloud as it were. Um, but just me personally, that's the kind of avenue that I tend to go towards, which is just something simple, a little encrypted text file with the same tools that many eyeballs have been on for years and years now, GPG being you know, quite established. But I guess it really comes down to your paranoia level. And I'm sure that for most people, the conveniences of even a proprietary cloud syncing password manager, well, probably outweighs the negatives of bad passwords and password reuse. It's just not for me. Now, next time I am going to share my tips on creating rememberable unique and good long passwords without using a database at all, just using the good old fashioned noggin. And no, it's not uh, correct horse battery staple. Uh, but I do want to know, what, what do you use? Uh, do you use a password manager? Do you use the old fashioned noggin? Uh, let me know in the comments. And with that, I'm Darren Kitchen. I'll see you on the internet.